Hey everyone, welcome back in the Mountain Dog Companion. A little bit of an interesting video here for you. We have Jesse and Alaska's puppies here together. We got some funny little guys and girls um, just hanging out, taking it easy. Um, we did some pictures for you. We're doing this YouTube video here, uh, trying to get these litter picks in. So we have Angie here um, hanging out with the puppies as well. Everyone's doing great and uh, just a wonderful look at both litters really. Um, Merle Bernadoodles here um, for, I mean, each and every puppy's Merle here and they're doing great. So what's kind of your takeaways on, on these two litters, Angie? So, you know how much I love color, right? Mm -hmm. They are outstanding. The marbling, um, the differences, some of them have more black across one eye and rest on the other. They're just mm -hmm. very, very unusual, unusual. And their personalities are really, really fun. So we're um, at the stage where they're starting to get into the play zones and yep. they're getting uh, exposure. We have a couple that are a little more quieter at this point. Not quite as adventurous, but that will come. Yeah. That's all part of their age. Yeah. And and we, we did discuss earlier about um, like the difference in Jesse and Alaska's mm -hmm. personalities. So you'll see um, you'll see okay. Jesse's puppies be just a little bit more um, quieter. Yeah, just yeah. a little yeah. bit more quieter and relaxed and it's because of the energy levels and everything of the parents too. Mm -hmm. And it's also, I mean, depending on the situation and, and their development, like sometimes a small, you know, a small trait from mom might, you know, trigger the puppies, even though mom's not necessarily the most quiet or most laid back, it might trigger the puppies to be a little bit more that way. And it's not, I mean, I, I feel like here, give it a week or It'll you know, give it a week yeah, and you'll see, yeah. definitely see a little bit more. What's up, buddy? And that's also why I like to put them together at playtimes because our more outgoing ones pull mm -hmm. that out of um, our reserved puppies. Exactly. Show them confidence yep. all within themselves. Absolutely. So, but yeah, we're, we're coming along doing, doing these great. guys are doing yep. very well. Yep. Um, I feel like we do have a good feel on personalities here. Um, and we're going to go through, talk about each one. First off, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about Alaska's three puppies here. Um, first off here we have Tasha. Now she's an interesting one. I know we had uh, a couple families asking about her because of her coloration uh, being that chocolate Merle. Um, now, one thing I do want to point out is check out these eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. they're just about as bright as it gets. Um, and I do feel like they're going to stay um, bright, bright blue eyes. Um, and Well, in the marking, the coloration of her um, her fur around it will make the, that blue pop. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Um, phenomenal coloration. Those eyes are really popping. Um, you got that white collar wrapping around. What's up, girl? Hello. <laughs> um, and just overall phenomenal coloration. Kind of a one. What's up, buddy? Uh, kind of a one shade um, chocolate merle here. You got a little bit of spotting coming through here and there. Uh, some dark spots, some dark colorations uh, coming through. Um, but overall, pretty pretty solid coloration for a merle. Um, now for her, her personality, she's the cuddle bug in the group. Um, she's the more laid back one. She's more content just hanging out, taking it easy. She still has great confidence. It's not like she's lacking confidence. She's just more laid back, more chilled out. Uh, just a little bit more easy going and and just more of a cuddle bug so and they had um, baths this morning and a blowout so uh -huh. that can also relax them a little oh bit absolutely puppies yep. sleep 18 to 20 hours a day and so when we have big activities like baths and things like that makes them kind of tuckered out absolutely so you'll see some with <laughs> plenty of interest and a few taking a nap yep okay guys moving on uh we got aiken here what's up girly this is one of the puppies from um, from Jesse's litter here. Uh, what are the girls? I think it's Lola. Um, but moving on to Aiken here, wonderful looking guy. Love his tan. His tan really comes out on his face um, with those white socks in the back. A little bit of his tippy toes or the bottom of his feet covered in white here up front. Yeah, and just phenomenal looking guy. Um, out of the two boys, I'd say he's the more laid back one. Um, even though he's got sporadic energy, he's still like very, and just kind of, he, he'll sit on your lap. He'll kind of want to climb up and uh, kind of take it, 
a little bit more easy at times. Super, super sweet. Um, I'd say out of the two boys right here, uh, we got both boys here showcasing, but um, I'd say he's a little bit more uh, less driven comparing the two. So uh, super sweet guy here. You want to hold them side by side so you can see the differences? Absolutely. In the yeah. And, here, this is and the then one. we got Ace. Uh, here's a three. Um, comparing size, I would say, I mean, she's She's probably close to being the biggest. I'd actually want to get a weight. Yeah, let's wait. Um, but kind of the difference between the two boys, you got a little bit more black here with Ace. Um, he is a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, I would say. Um, he is probably the smallest in the litter. Beautiful tan coming through. Um, he is a blue Merle. Wonderful coloration. He's the most outgoing one. He got 390. Yep, yep, you can see it better from over there. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> C, and then we got Ace. 3.8, oh, okay, so so he is a little bit bigger than her. Here you go. She's 3.9. Right? Oh, yeah, never yeah, mind, yeah, never yeah, mind, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's 3.9, yeah. Ace is 3.78. You might have to reset it, uh, 4.32. Yeah, so he's a big boy. Yep. So 4.32, um, what was it, 3.78? 3.80 and 3.90. Yeah, okay, yep. So definitely the small one here. The girl here is right in the middle. And then we got Mr. Aiken over here um, being the big boy. Um, <laughs> but it's not a crazy amount of difference. Uh -huh. I don't feel like no. one's super small, no. one's the most laid back. But um, Ace here, he is the more laid back one, or sorry, the mo more outgoing one in the litter. Um, a little bit more energetic and a little bit more of a fun personality, um, kind of an outgoing guy. Sit. Yeah. Sit. Good job. There you go. <laughs> Good buddy. Um, but yeah, they're doing very well, and we'll move right on to Jesse's litter. Okay, moving on to Jesse's puppies here. Um, again, Blue Merles. Angie's over here clipping uh, toenails, so if you're curious about that, um, yeah, you can follow along over here. Um, but she, it's a, it's a thing that kind of these puppies go through, and just to get them used to it, and yep. um, phenomenal looking. And they just being able there. to touch the paws, part of our puppy massage. Um, groomers love it and families. Mm -hmm. oh, they always tell me how much they appreciate this part of our conditioning. Because <laughs> they just oh, lay yeah. here. This is, this is impressive. They're just hanging out. Yep. Another day. Okay. Um, so moving on to Miss Lola here. Um, super sweet girl. Love her coloration. She's got a little bit more black here on the side and over the back. Um, kind of coming through with that gray. Got the tan, the white, everything's kind of matching up here for her. Nice big tuxedo up front. And she's she's a relatively active girl, um, super confident. Um, now one thing we did notice is she um, is a little bit more independent. Like she'll grab a toy, she'll check, you know, grab a seat in the corner and hang out with the toy. So a little bit more independent. Um, but she's still like very people oriented. It's not like she doesn't want to be around people. She's very driven towards people. Um, just in her play style, she's a little bit more independent, um, a little bit more adventurous. She'll go check stuff out, uh, check out new things and see kind of what's going on around her. So super sweet girl here. Again, that's Lola. She has a beautiful curl pattern too on top of her head. She does, yeah. yeah. Jessie's litter is a little more uh, tighter curl mm -hmm. than Alaska. Alaska is a little more softer. Absolutely. Softer waves. Yep. And then moving on, I think we got. Should yeah. I wait her? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Follow. <laughs> Sorry. 4.42. Okay, next up we got Juno here. Um, now she is one of the more active ones in the litter um, and very like people oriented so she'll want to hang out with her people um, She'll want to be directly with you, but she also loves playtime. She loves hanging out interacting um, Super sweet girl now. She is a chocolate Merle um, You got that chocolate coming through some dark spotting going on on the hind legs on the back here um, a little bit on the face if you look here on the side um, you got a little bit of char chocolate, like dark chocolate coming through. What's up, buddy? Hello. Mm -hmm. You want to say hi? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Just a phenomenal coloration here uh, for her. So I know um, the two chocolates were kind of the, the stars of the show um, early on. Um, I know there's a couple families really looking at, at these chocolate meals. I really like the coloration of this old guy right here, uh, which we'll talk about next. I think that's the boy in the litter of Jesse's. 
Okay, moving on to the boy in the litter here uh, for Jesse's litter. Um, so beautiful coloration here to start things off. He's kind of got a uh, almost a tint going on, don't you think? Like it's it's kind of a darker gray coming through. Um, and one thing I really love about his coloration, he's still got the white face, the white blaze. Um, overall, just beautiful coloration here for this little guy. And he's a homebody. He's a more laid back one, more chilled out. Uh, just kind of wants to hang out, take it easy. Um, a little bit more relaxed, loves being held. Um, so a super sweet little guy. Um, his name is Banjo and very sweet guy here. Hand him over to Angie and then we got one more to talk about. Okay, moving on last but not least, um, we got Miss uh, Jerry here. Super sweet girl, um, love the coloration. Got that Merle coming through, uh, darker spotting going on um, over the back. Got the tan coming through. Not a lot of white for her, so a little bit more of a darker um, look overall, kind of a unique look here. Um, I think she has a little bit of white up front in her tuxedo. Um, and she is the most laid back in the litter. Um, I would say the most calm, especially out of the girls. Just a little bit more content, laid back. Absolutely loves being held. She loves curling up, loves taking it easy. Um, she you know, won't complain if you pick her up and just kind of have her hang out. Um, and she'll definitely just kind of take everything in. She'll sit and kind of, she's very in tune with everything around her. So Very aware. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that'll kind of wrap things up. Um, kind of threw everything together here today for you with Jesse and Alaska's litter. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to follow along and hopefully it's helpful for the litter picks. Um, I'm very excited to see how these litters come around and how they kind of get along here in the next couple weeks, but really looking forward to get, getting this, um, these litter picks in. Um, if anyone has any questions for me, let me know. I'd love to help you out. Um, what's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, you just want to be held. Uh, but again, my name is Jay Miller. This is Angie here um, with Mountain Dog Companion. My number is 330-234-0102. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and we'll see you next time.